In earlier videos, I described rate laws. This topic is discussed when studying chemical kinetics. Notice how the rate of reaction is dependent on the concentration of the reactant raised to some power. And we'll just use an example of one reactant here. But it's also dependent on the rate constant. In this video, let's discuss how the temperature affects the rate constant. Here is the Arrhenius equation, and K is the rate constant. And the rate constant is equal to A, which is called the frequency factor. This value comes from the frequency of collisions and the fraction of molecules that have the orientation necessary for a reaction. For this discussion, I'll assume this value is 1. I'm mostly interested in the temperature in this equation. Now this is important. The frequency factor is multiplied by E raised to the negative activation energy. And this is divided by R, the universal gas constant, and the temperature. So let's go to Excel next. I've uh, started the column here with temperature on the uh, left-hand side in uh, the first column. I'll use five data points, 100, 2, 3, 4, and 500. And in the next column, on the right-hand side, I have small k, so this is my rate constant. So in here, I'll plug in my equation, so I'll press equal. Now remember my frequency factor, I'll just assume is 1. That's not going to affect my calculation here. I'm more interested in how the rate constant changes as a function of temperature, so I'll just ignore that frequency factor for now. So I'll type in exp, and that's my e function, e raised to some exponent. I'll type in my uh, parentheses, open parentheses. Now, I want to type in a negative activation energy, and I'll just plug in anything. You know, at these uh, experiments in, in general chemistry, activation energies are, you know, 10 kilojoules to 50 kilojoules, something like that. I'll just type in 10,000 uh, joules. And the reason for that, uh, I won't use kilojoules, I'll use joules because I'm going to divide by the gas constant, R, which is 8.3145 joules per Kelvin mole, so those units will cancel. And then I'll multiply by this cell, the temperature. Um, one thing I have to do here is close the parentheses twice. So I got to divide by RT. So I'll press enter and that gives me some answer. Uh, for those of you new to Excel, remember I can do this calculation all the way down the column by clicking this bottom right hand corner, click and hold, drag down, and so that will uh, do my calculations for the different temperatures so you can see the cell number here. All right, and uh, for those of you doing general chemistry problems, pretty simple here. You can just uh, highlight both columns and we can insert a graph. So in Excel, up in the insert feature, uh, depending on what version you have, it might look a little different in this version. Uh, I see my XY scatter right here, and uh, I'll just click something like that, and just as we expect, yes, the uh, rate constant is exponentially dependent on that temperature, so you see here as the temperature increases, you get that exponential uh, growth here of the rate constant, rate constant, so that's why at higher temperatures reactions happen faster because the rate constant, right? If you look at the rate law, that rate constant value is the one increasing. And so that's what makes the rate go faster. Of course, if you're going the opposite way, I'll blow that up so we can see it a little bit better. If we're going the opposite way at higher temperatures, if we're lowering the temperature, you can see that there's that exponential decay, a pretty precipitous drop in that um, rate constant.